I am literally the worst vlogger I know, but today is a Friday, October 9th. Went to work, same as any other weekday. Then I came home, took a body shower, went shoe shopping, came home again, then went out with some friends and we went to a haunted house, but like a drive through. So it was super safe, which was cool. It was nice to get out and do that. But I thought since I didn't vlog like at all, even at the haunted drive through that I would do a little shoe shopping haul. So I went to DSW and got some shoes, obviously. So the first pair of shoes that I have don't come for me. I got Crocs. Crocs were like a thing when I was younger because they were waterproof and like you could wear them to the beach and all that stuff. And now I wasn't originally going to get Crocs, but I wanted to get those like Ugg slipper things, not moccasins, but like the slip-ons. But I just didn't like the way the like cheaper versions felt on my feet. So I saw the fuzzy Crocs and was like, Mm, I have to get those because it's just nice to have something fuzzy for the fall and the winter. They look so big though, like they make my feet look kind of humongous. I'm a size 10 because I am like 5'11". So yeah, they look big, but whatever. Then the second pair of shoes that I got is from Life Stride and they're just these nude heels this is like my third or fourth pair of nude heels the ones that i used to get were from payless but payless is no longer open like in store i believe they might be open online i'm not sure but the brand that i normally get to is comfort or something like that but this is still like comfort it's their soft system i love nude heels i think that these are so cute they're good height for me too since I'm so tall but I think that it's always good to have a nice nude heel in your closet just in case you never know and I definitely needed a new pair of nude heels because I had thrown my old pair out a few months ago because the bottom of the heel was like completely worn down they were just not really walkable really anymore they were completely trashed i wore them like every single day to work then the last pair of shoes that i got is from the brand blondo i think is how you pronounce it and they're waterproof which is pretty cool i just got these super cute booties i never really get shoes that have like any heel on them but recently over the past two years I have been getting over my insecurity of being tall. In high school, it was just a big insecurity. Like I would slouch all the time because I just hated my height. And at this point, I'm kind of just like, I'm not shrinking anytime soon. So if I like the shoe, then just freaking wear it, you know? So they're super cute. They have a little zipper right here and it's tighter around the ankle, unlike my black booties which is cool because honestly i wore leggings to the store and it didn't look bad with leggings on like i don't know that i necessarily wear these with leggings but it didn't look bad so that's all i'm saying so it was definitely a successful shoe shopping trip and probably spent more money than i would have liked but at the same time i'm not really like a clothes shoe shopping type of girl for example i've had the same summer sandals and like summer shoes in general for almost three years like i have not bought new shoes for summer in three years like that's crazy to me this upcoming summer like next year i'll probably buy new shoes just because it is time but like these will last me a long time and i probably won't buy like new fall shoes for another like two to three years so I did it and there are still some other shoes that I think I not need but that I would like for example some white vans because I don't have any slip-ons like that I need some vans socks as well because the little no-show socks that I have just don't work the material is so thin and they just slip off the bottom of my heel and then I also want to get like a work boot because the work boots I currently have I've also had now for like four years they're done I definitely need a new pair they are just ripping at the seams so that's it for my little shoe shopping haul honestly i probably won't vlog again for the rest of the night so i'm not sure if this is going to be the end of this video i kind of want to go fall clothes shopping tomorrow just because again i haven't gone 
fall clothes shopping in years. So maybe I'll make this like a little haul video. We'll see. So it is night time on Saturday, October 10th. And this is part two of this video. So part two of my haul. Obviously yesterday, as you just saw, I went shoe shopping. And today I went fall clothes shopping at Target. So the first thing that I got actually wasn't clothes and I've already used it and I'm so excited because I am obsessed with it. Literally, I used it for like five minutes and I was like, what is this magical device? I have to show you. So I bought the Revlon Salon One Step hair dryer and volumizer and I used it on my hair today and I literally love it like I didn't do anything to it besides wash it put a little bit of blow dry cream in it and then used this it's $60 but I promise you if you buy it it's worth the money it does get a little hot and I use it on the high setting for the entire time so I definitely like recommend using it on the lower setting if you can and then maybe like waiting for your hair to dry on its own a little bit more so not using it directly on your like soaking wet hair so like waiting for it to be just like damp so i really like it like i said go out and buy it if you have not tried it i really don't think you will regret it i have been putting off that purchase for so long like i've wanted to buy it ever since it came out because i just hate blow drying my hair i hate having one hand on the blow dryer, one hand on a round brush. It's just too hard for me. So this makes it so easy because you just have both hands on one device and you just twist and flip it however you want. And I love it. So now let's get to the clothes. The first piece that I have is this super cute turtleneck sweater dress. I love this. It's a little bit short on me, but I think with some spandex and maybe some black booties it would look really cute i might do a little try on we'll see but yeah love it next i got some joggers and it's just like an acid wash bleach type of vibe super cute it had a matching crew neck and i tried it on but i just didn't really like it like i think this would look super cute with maybe a white crew neck or a white crop top something like that really love it i only have including these ones now two pairs of joggers and I love loungewear that is also fashionable, obviously. So when I found those, I was like, yes, please. It's not the most ideal color for my personal preference, but I still like them. Also, the sweater dress was $30 and the joggers were $22. So this next piece is just a simple gray sweater it's a super thin material and the price is twenty dollars this is a size extra large the sweater dress is a size large and the joggers are a size extra large i really love this i think it would look super cute with some denim jeans or even with some slacks for more of like a work vibe for me i'm just like not that good at fashion so having simple pieces that i can kind of pair with anything is super helpful for me because I'm definitely a follower when it comes to like the fashion industry. So next I have another $20 extra large sweater. And this is a leopard cheetah print. Again, that super thin, same material as the last one. And I was kind of hesitant about this because it doesn't really scream me. But I really want to try to get out of my comfort zone just a little bit. So I thought this would be like a perfect way of doing so. Maybe with some black jeans or something. I've also really been into mom jeans and like the looser sweater and tucking it in in the front. I know most people wear mom jeans with like crop tops or tight shirts. But honestly, it doesn't look that bad with like some Sperry's or some Vans and... I think it looks really cute. So then the last thing that I got, I am super excited about. Probably the most excited when it comes to clothing pieces because I got some work pants. And they're just like so cute and fashionable. The vibe they give me is like the Burberry scarf. And I love it. They are cropped. They don't go all the way down to my ankle. But they're super cute. It has like the little bow as the belt in the front. And I'd probably pair this with like a long sleeve, more tight and fitted 
tucked in shirt or like a bodysuit or something with black blazer maybe or maybe even a gray blazer or something like that with flats or heels or booties or something. And these pants are size 10 and they are $27.99. This is just a super quick video for a little fall haul. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. And also you can click the little subscribe button down below. It is free and turn on your post notifications. That way you never miss one of my future uploads. I also do monthly Starbucks e-gift card giveaways. Sometimes I'll change how often I announce winners just because it depends on how many comments I get on videos since comments are part of the rules to enter. So if you want to enter to win a Starbucks e-gift card, then just go to the description box and read the rules to make sure you know exactly how to enter. And with that being said, I think that's all I have for this video. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.